Hi everybody, this is Nikki and I am doing a quick video while I let my you know, timer count down from 10 minutes um, so I can restart my sensor. I'm doing a quick video that's no medical advice whatsoever and it really isn't. It's just I would like to throw in my own experience to the ever-growing pot of people's um, stories about getting vaccinated and its effect on blood sugars. Um, I would like to say, I don't know, I don't even know who's out there anymore, but um, I do have a, techno a diabetes technology Facebook group um, where lots of people are, are kind of chiming in and letting us know how they, how, how they went, how it went when they got vaccinated with their blood sugar. Um, and so because I was really careful to track things the first vaccine, the first dose, um, I would like to kind of just add to it because I am reading in other groups where some where there seems to be the first person says oh my blood sugar really was out of control and then more and more people seem to respond in similar with similar type stories um, so and with diabetes I do feel like it's so you know you really have to pay attention to know what's affecting your blood sugar so that's why I said this is not medical advice because it's not to downplay the possibility that the, that the, a vaccine would affect your blood sugar um, but I would like to say I did pay close attention and I did find with the first vaccine that I had zero effect with my blood sugar. Um, I got the Moderna. I got this back in February, um, no, January, mid-January or whatever it was. It was a month apart. Um, my first dose, I was very careful to track my blood sugar. Um, the side effects from the vaccine were very minimal anyway. And on top of it, my blood sugar was normal and stable for 24 hours and, you know, and thereafter, meaning at some point I started to mess everything up again <laughs> because that's, that's what I do. Um, okay. So that was the first dose. Um, I went on, I went into my group, I posted that. And then the responses I got to that were very similar type stories where the majority of responses were similar in that, um, they didn't see a huge impact on their blood sugar, if anything at all. Um, and I'm not just downplaying, I'm saying those were the responses. And there were a couple of people, and when I say a couple, I mean, I can think of one and maybe two, where they said they thought they saw a slight, um, a slight elevation in blood sugar, but they weren't even sure. So the point is, in general, those responses were fairly, um, if I had to, group them all together, there was very little impact on blood sugar, um, if any. So when I went in to get my second dose, um, again, zero impact on blood sugar. However, the second dose knocked me on my butt like something awful. Um, so as far as side effects from the second dose, they were pretty heavy duty. Um, and what was interesting, I actually ran a fever from the second dose. My, my side effects from the second dose were that directly following um, the dose, I was good for about 10 hours, um, including my, even my arm wasn't sore, which, which, which surprised me and I thought everything was you know clear, whatever, clear skies. Um, so then around 10 o'clock, I mean, around 10 hours later, I started to feel real, full, real fullness and soreness in my shoulder. And then this is in the middle of the night and then I ended up waking up feeling pretty sick um, again around three o'clock in the morning and I noticed I just felt feverish and, and whatever and by the time I got up the next morning I thought it was just kind of cold symptoms so I did do my full morning bolus which is quite a bit of insulin because I prepare for my coffee intake um, and I increase my basal rate and all this other stuff and so I did all that and then I was too nauseous to drink it. So it, so it, the only effect it had on my, on my blood sugar was that I was nauseated from the shot um, and didn't think it out and went ahead and did all my boluses and all my whatever and it was not able to get the carbs and the whatever, you know, to, to, to meet it. So it put me with a number of units on board and with a high temp rate um, and not able to eat anything. So I did a glucagon, I did a small glucagon shot of probably 15 units and that was good. And the rest of the day I was sick. Um, so too sick to eat, too sick to do anything else. Um, and my blood sugar it stayed perfectly normal, which I actually kind of thought was a halfway decent little basal test because I didn't eat, didn't bolus, didn't move. And I stayed at around an 85 all day, 85, 90 all day. Um, what was interesting is I did run a fever 
the next day after the um, shot, I did run a fever. I was miserable, so I don't want to downplay that part. I was miserable. Um, but my blood sugar never responded to the fever, which I thought was kind of, you know, nice. <laughs> so that was nice um, because I didn't need blood sugar problems and I didn't have blood sugar problems. And then within, let's say by seven o'clock the next night or whatever, so probably 24 hour, t about 24 hours outside of the shot, I started to feel better. And by the next, mor by the next morning, I was back to, to fine again. Again, um, responses to that thread, to that post, were all very similar. It seems like a lot of people kind of struggle with the second dose as far as um, side effects. And my mom and I got the shot at the exact same time. Um, I'm 44, she's 76, and she's 75. <laughs> she's 75. Um, 76. And, and she, she didn't have a hard time with the second shot. It made me feel like a complete wimp. Um, so I went down and she was there to take care of me and everything else. So it's, so I think the second dose is maybe, um, you know, there's a theory that it's your immune system. It's your immune reaction. So I'm like, if that's what it is, that's wonderful. Cause I'm diabetic and with a very strong immune reaction. Anyway, I'm talking away. I got three minutes left for my, um, sensor restart. So I will do that, but I wanted to say something about it. And that is in general, um, from what I have heard from people who I interact with, and I know how much attention they're paying, um, people seem to have had a really good response to the vaccine as far as their diabetes is concerned. Um, this is not to encourage or discourage or whatever. It's just to say, I'd like these stories to be out there too. Um, so, and that is, I can't say the other groups I've read where people said that their blood sugar hit 300 or 400 or whatever, um, I don't know what their attention level is to their diabetes, so I don't know if they would know. Um, and it's entirely possible that it had an effect on their blood sugar that just hasn't been what I've seen in my group. Seven minutes from nowhere. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you have a great day and smile you later. <laughs>